this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stumpy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, I'm going to be joined by my jumping chicken called Esther, and I'm also going to be joined by my jumping bear friend called Lee Bear. <laughs> Slightly jumping, more more wriggling up and down rather than jumping. Going, get there we go. You got some some headroom in here to go and have a, a proper big jump around. <laughs> Good morning, Lee. Uh, seeing as it's morning, can I can I please have my uh, have my breakfast, please? Thank you very much. Yum 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 yum. Right then, I think the first thing we need to do before we go and do uh, anything is uh, talk a little bit about what happened in the, the last episode. If you didn't see it, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, yeah, it was very dramatic, and uh, I lost Barnaby. And so uh, what we did after the, the episode is I went to uh, hit the target's castle, and uh, I went to see if Barnaby or hit the target was there, and as I expected, there was absolutely no sign of either of them. But it's okay, it's okay, because I know hit the target wouldn't hurt Barnaby, uh, because he's trying to train them, uh, to train all my dogs uh, to make an evil dog army. Uh, army so I know that at least Barnaby should be uh, being looked after so what I think the the plan should be is we wait for his next attack and then we can follow him back to wherever his uh, his new uh, new hideout is and then we can go and save Barnaby and then we'll all be reunited and very happy so don't worry I'm sure we're gonna get Barnaby back soon so I think the the best thing to do now is to act like uh, we're not planning anything uh, just as if everything's normal uh, then that way when hit the target comes uh, he won't think we're expecting him but we will we will be ready to Trust me, we will be ready. Uh, so yeah, the, the first thing I want to do is add someone to my, my love garden. And uh, today I'm adding... Right, I don't think I can pronounce that, so I'm just going to spell it out. It's C-W-T-C-H-E-S. And that's because uh, he sent me this picture of a, uh, a homemade uh, pillow. And uh, one half is Stampy Get Me, and uh, the other half is Lee Bear. And I think it's uh, a really cool design. It looks really comfy. And I wanted to say thank you very much uh, for sending me the, the uh, picture. And welcome to my, my love garden. Tell you what, I'm going to make an attempt of uh, pronouncing the name. It's Quitches. Quitches. <laughs> something, something along those lines. <laughs> right then, it's time for the uh, the race to the the doghouse. So we're gonna do a normal, old-fashioned, straight-up run to the the doghouse today uh, because we're uh, very busy, got lots to build, so I don't want to waste too much time. So we can begin in three, two, one, go, 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 go! I right, got a good start there. I need to jump through the love heart, and oh, there we go. I got through, but I was quite slow, and uh, Lee Bear did uh, manage to catch me up a little bit. Oh, oh no! We both tried to open the gate. Right, I go through this one. There we go. <laughs> In a bit of uh, trouble getting through the, the gates there. And uh, now I'm going to go and try and jump down here. This is the quickest way. And... Oh, no, I can't get through the door. And... Oh, oh, I think... I think that might have been a, a draw. That was a a, a very close one. <laughs> so tell you what, I'm going to suggest different dogs. And uh, then you can nod or shake your head. And uh, then that way we can decide uh, together uh, which dog's going to join us. So do you want Fluffy to, to join us? You do. There we go. That was that was easier than I thought it would be. So I'm going to go and uh, get Fluffy. Uh, she can uh, join us in today's episode. But before I do that, I very quickly need to run up here. And uh, that is uh, so I can get some eggs. And first, I'm going to go jump in the water next to my pumpkins. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. And uh, yeah, the reason I'm getting eggs uh, is going to become uh, apparent a little bit later on in the, the video. It's all going to become uh, explained as uh, as to why I need uh, all of these eggs. But uh, yeah, I'll talk about that uh, when it comes to it. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was growing. Growing a Lee Bear there. I'm growing melons, I'm growing potatoes, and I'm growing bears apparently in my farm today. <laughs> right then, uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to pick off uh, where we tried to, to lead off in the, the last episode, and uh, that is, oh, careful, no one touch this cake. Stay away from the cake, Lee Bear. Yeah, we're going to carry on doing what we were doing in the last episode, and that is building the, the TikTok shop. Uh, so I didn't get much progress done because I was rudely interrupted, uh, but yeah, uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, trying to build a whole load uh, of different clocks, and uh, each different clock is going to be unique and different and cool in its, uh, in its own way. Uh, so let's not waste any time. Uh, let's go and uh, get started. I think we'll we start off with a, uh, a simple clock first. But the first thing to do is uh, to actually make the uh, the clock. So I've got the, uh, the gold on me this time. Uh, so let's go and see uh, how many clocks we can make. I think they're in here. Yep. Uh, let's go and uh, try and make... Uh, there we go. I can make seven different clocks. This will hopefully uh, be uh, enough. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to start off with a very simple one, uh, which is going to be a, uh, a wall clock. And so this is basically going to look like uh, this is a, a kind of modern clock uh, that you would find uh, on the, the wall. And so the way we're going to do it is just put down a, a bit of blue wall because I want it to be a, a kind of 
blue clock. And then if I put a uh, an item frame up, and uh, then I put the clock on the the inside, and there we go. And that is the uh, the most simple clock we're we're going to to build uh, today. And uh, if you don't know, uh, the clocks actually work uh, while they're in item frames as well. So you can see that it shows that the sun uh, is uh, at midday at the the very top. If I look up, you can see that the sun is actually there. And that reminds me, we don't have a a ceiling yet. A uh, bear, uh, maybe it'll be a good idea if you go and uh, start building the uh, the ceiling and filling it all in. Oh, it looks like you were about to do that already. So uh, yeah, while Lee Bear fills in the, the, the roof, I can go and uh, continue uh, building the, the inside. So as I said, that is the uh, the most simple one. Now we're going to get complicated. Now I'm going to go and try and build a grandfather clock. So to do this, I need two doors. I also need uh, two uh, trap doors as well. And uh, then uh, I need a, a half slab as well. I'm going to use uh, an oak wood uh, half slab. So where are they? They should be down here and yeah let me go and show you how this one's gonna work so it's actually uh, gonna sink uh, into the the wall uh, a little bit uh, but I'm gonna explain that a little bit further in a minute so uh, the first thing I want to do uh, is to place down some wood on the the floor here uh, which is going to be the uh, the base of the clock and oh <laughs> I dropped some of my eggs oh well it doesn't matter I have plenty more so I'm gonna place this down here and uh, this is basically gonna be the uh, the bottom of it I'm then gonna go and put down my door so I'm gonna put one door uh, on this side and oh no I did that wrong actually I think if I turn around and do it this way there we go I do one door there and one on the other side so this is basically uh, going to be the the side of the uh, the clock and uh, this is basically as if you're looking uh, on the the inside of the clock so at the moment it's a little bit weird uh, because you can see this uh, wall in the background so I'm going to break uh, away a little bit of this I might actually make a chest as well just to, to empty my pockets because otherwise it's going to get really annoying with me dropping things all over the floor so let's just go uh, for now and uh, put this chest down here I'm going to put all of my eggs <laughs> in here for now I can go and empty uh, all of them away. All uh, right, so yeah, the the background uh, is going to be uh, wooden planks uh, to fit in with the the rest of the clock. So as if we're looking at the the back of the clock, and then the the face of the clock is going to be about there, and uh, then on top of that, I'm going to go and uh, put a a half slab. Uh, so if I just jump up and try and place that on here like that, perfect. <laughs> and so now I can go and put the the actual clock on, uh, which is once again just going to be a item frame with then a clock on the the inside, uh, just like that. And uh, now uh, we need to go and do the the inside mechanisms. And so the the way I'm going to do this is a uh, quite a cool design. I'm going to make myself some some iron bars, and I'm going to use that uh, to make it look like it's the uh, uh, kind of the um. Uh, the the metal rod uh, holding up the the pendulum thing uh, that swings back and forth and then we're going to do the uh, the pendulum uh, by putting down a uh, another item frame and then just putting in a piece of a uh, yellow wool uh, like that and so that is my grandfather clock actually I haven't used the the trap doors yet I was just going to go and put these uh, on the the side like this and then flap them down like that uh, just to, to make it look more like a clock so there we go uh, that is my my grandfather clock I think it looks pretty cool and so the next one I'm going to do is going to be kind of like uh, just a hanging clock. Uh, but rather than the the modern clock we did there this is going to be uh, a much more old-fashioned one so I think for this one uh, we can use some spruce wood and I'm going to go and put it quite high up here like this actually I'm going to go and uh, I might actually do it in as a uh, planks instead actually just to, to make it look a little bit different uh, to the the grandfather clock so I'm going to go and put that up there and then I'm going to do a very similar thing that I did here with the the pendulum uh, but this time instead of using the the iron bars I'm going to be using glass just to, to make it look a little bit different so if I uh, get some glass and uh, make it into glass plane, uh, glass panes. Uh, I can go and place it down here like that. Uh, once again, put on a, an item frame with a, a little bit of a yellow wall. And uh, you could use gold as well. The reason I'm not using gold is because I don't have very much gold, so I'm trying to save it. So maybe if I get some more gold, <laughs> I can switch it around in the, the future. And then I need to go and add the uh, the clock face on the, the top like that. And there we go. There's three clocks done already. We're making pretty good progress. And uh, now... I'm going to go and uh, do a, uh, a few table uh, uh, a few table clocks rather than these uh, wall ones, uh, the ones that are, are hanging. Uh, these ones are going to be uh, put on top of a, a little table. So the first thing to do is to actually build the, the table. So I'm going to do the uh, the type of design that I've done before uh, where I'm going to use uh, these uh, uh, these stairs and then I'm going to use half slabs as well. So it's actually going to be uh, kind of like a, a corner table. It's going to go around the, the corner like this. Then if I do uh, another staircase there, I can now go and build uh, a few clocks on here actually I might go and uh, build this out a little bit further in this direction uh, because then otherwise it doesn't look very equal so if I break that away and uh, put that down here and if I'm quick I might be able to demonstrate uh, a really cool clock and that is an alarm clock and this is going to be a working alarm clock if I get a, a note block and uh, put it down here 
and then I make daylight sensors, I can use them uh, to, to sense whether it's day or night. So uh, I should have everything I need uh, to make a, uh, a sensor on me. I think I just need uh, to make uh, a few more half slabs. And if I'm very quickly, uh, we might, uh, if I'm very quick, we might actually be able to, to hear it uh, going off. So if I then go and uh, put these on either side here like that, and there we go. Did you hear it went off? <laughs> that was perfect timing. That means it is now officially nighttime. Uh, so I do need uh, to add the actual clock face onto it. Uh, so it looks like like a, a clock. Uh, so basically what this means is every time it's morning or night time uh, it's going to go and ding uh, just like a, a real alarm clock. Well they don't normally go off at night but <laughs> uh, yeah they do normally go off in the, the morning and then I can uh, change the, the pitch a bit uh, to make it a little bit higher pitched because uh, uh, alarm clocks normally are and it does actually look uh, kind of like the, the old fashioned clocks uh, that you um uh, yeah, that you, you used to find a long time ago and maybe still have in, in your house. So that's a, a quite a, a cool little one. And uh, then we're going to do a, a little bit of a, a more standard uh, clock here, which is just going to be a... Um I don't know, just the, the kind of clock that you might find uh, just in your house in general. So I'm just going to go and put a, a half slab on the top there and I then go and put a, uh, another clock on the, the inside here. So there we go. We have a, a whole big row of clocks along here, but we are far uh, from finished yet because we have a, a whole nother uh, big row of clocks to do on the, the other side here. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and build myself a um, uh, another table here. So I've got some more half slabs. So I'm going to build uh, along here like this. I just put a, a block there and then build build along here the, the same. Oh, I think I've gone a little bit too far on this side, actually. As Let's go and break away that half slab and put down these stairs. So there we go. Uh, we have a, another table. And uh, the next type of clock I'm going to do is going to be a very modern digital clock. Uh, so I'm going to use some some black wool for this one because I think uh, most digital uh, alarm clocks uh, are made out of, uh, uh, not made out of black wool, but <laughs> uh, are black. So uh, instead of using a real clock, uh, this time uh, we are actually uh, going to, to use a sign. Uh, so then that way, uh, this sign can be uh, like it's the uh, the display uh, of the uh, of the clock. So we're going to go and do the the time here. Uh, obviously, the the time won't change. Uh, so yeah, it's not going to be the the most accurate clock. I guess it can be like a, a digital clock uh, that has run out of batteries, maybe. And you know, I should probably do uh, 06. Uh, I'm going to do it as if it's 6.12 p.m., let's say. Uh, let's go and do 6.12. And uh, then if I do a, a little p.m. underneath, uh, that can be the time. And then they also normally uh, say the uh, the date as well. And once again, uh, this isn't going to update. So unless I, I come back here every single day <laughs> and uh, update it uh, myself, uh, then yeah, it's not going to update. So let's just do the uh, the 16th of July, let's say. Uh, just a, a random date and go and put that down there. So here we go. This is like my digital alarm clock. And I should actually also uh, add some, some buttons on. To it. So I'm going to go and uh, grab some uh, smooth stones. I think stone uh, would look better than wood. And oh, <laughs> looks like Lee Bear has been busy shearing sheep. This is good uh, because uh, after we've uh, finished building everything on the, the inside, uh, we're going to be uh, beginning uh, to build the big tower. So we do need uh, a lot of wool. So it looks like Lee's being kept busy uh, doing that while I'm building the, the clocks on the, the inside. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do a button uh, for the side that can be used to, to set the time. And then also on the top, a pressure plate. So this pressure plate uh, can be as if that's what you press to, to turn the alarm off. So when it goes off in the morning, uh, you can go and press the uh, the pressure plate or jump on it <laughs> in this case. Sometimes when the alarm goes off in the morning for me, it makes me want to jump on the clock because I'm really tired and don't want to get out of bed. <laughs> right then, uh, now the, the next ones we're going to do uh, isn't actually uh, a clock, but more a, uh, a box of clocks. Uh, basically, I'm going to do a chest here and I'm going to fill it full of clocks. And that is because these are going to be my second hand clocks. And uh, that's a bit of a, a joke because you have the, the hands on a, a clock as well. And uh, yeah, you often do get secondhand uh, yeah, uh, clocks in shops like this. So let me just do uh, secondhand clocks. And uh, if I have uh, enough clocks uh, left over, I'm just going to put them in the uh, the chest here. So secondhand uh, clocks. I never actually really saw the... um the point of clocks in Minecraft. Like I know sometimes when you're in a, in a like a cave, you, you're like, you might be curious as to what time it is in the morning, but it never normally matters. <laughs> and like any time, like you're outside, you can go, oh, what time is it? Oh, I just look up, you know, it's kind of more old fashioned. You look at the, the moon and the sun to tell the time rather than, you know, looking at your watch or more likely your phone nowadays. <laughs> anyway, uh, we now have one more clock to build. And this is the, the clock that I've been really looking forward to build. And uh, it's also the the reason we got the uh, the eggs and if you can't guess what it's going to be it's going to be 
a cuckoo clock. It's going to be a clock uh, that you can go and uh, press a button and it'll go cuckoo and then a, uh, a door will open and uh, you're going to see a chicken uh, which is going to be on the, the inside. <laughs> and I think it's going to be, it's going to be a little bit ridiculous. It's going to be absolutely huge as far as clocks go, but I think it's the, the only way I can add as uh, much uh, detail as I want and uh, try and make it look cool. So we're going to be building it uh, out of uh, spruce wood uh, just so it's uh, different to the, the oak and uh, also we got birch as the uh, the walls in the background. So I wanted it to, to look a little bit different. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the uh, the feet of the the clock uh, which are going to be uh, around about here and I need to make sure they're facing the right way. Yeah, so one needs to be like that, and then one needs to be like this. And then we're going to go and do the, the body of the clock. And I'm going to leave a, a gap here, uh, because that is actually where the... Um uh, where the, the chicken's going to be. There's going to be a big door there and then a, uh, a chicken uh, on the, the other side. And then up the uh, the top here, uh, we're just going to do some stairs like that. And oh, no, this one's the, the wrong way around. Uh, am I going to be able to place it if I do it on the bottom of the block? Is it going to be the right way around? Oh, nope. <laughs> that was uh, that was wrong again. Let me try and line this up right so I can actually place it where it needs to be. And then I can do the same on the other side. There we go. That's where I wanted it. Then I'm going to do the, the same on this side and down here like that. Uh, so this is kind of the, uh, the shape it's going to be. Then and also on the very top, I'm going to add a, a half slab. See if I can jump up and place it. Nope, uh, that's not happening. All right, let me try this again. I want to basically have it above that block there. If I jump like that, nope, once again, I missed. And oh, did you hear that? It's thundering. It's thundering and lightning outside. It's actually a little bit scary. <laughs> I'm glad we're, we're inside where, where we are. Uh, it might actually be a good idea to, to make some beds and then we can sleep because uh, otherwise the, the thunder and lightning is going to be really loud and also really scary. So I don't know, Libra, if you want to make some some beds and uh, we can we can just camp out inside of the uh, the shop tonight. Oh, well, naturally, I can demonstrate uh, the alarm clock. If I sleep next to the, the alarm clock, uh, hopefully uh, we're going to hear it going off uh, in, the, in the morning. But for now, I'm going to carry on working on my clock. So I'm once again, I'm going to go and break away the wall a bit uh, just to make it look like the, the inside of the, the clock is the, the right colour. And uh, I do have a, another door on me, uh, so I can now go and uh, place that uh, on the, the front here like this. And I'm um, now... We're going to go and try and make a way uh, so the, the chicken actually stays inside of the, the clock. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go and make myself a, a fence post. And if I put the, the fence post inside the clock and then use a lead uh, to kind of tie the uh, uh, the the, uh, the chicken in, and then hopefully that way it won't go wandering. And if it does fall out the clock, at least it's not going to go too far and wander off somewhere else. And aha, it looks like our beds are ready. Oh, and a little a little midnight feast. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> we might as well go and eat that. Right, I'm going to sleep here. Uh, uh, next to the the clock i'm not sure uh, whether the uh, the day night sensors work uh, when you're when you sleep in a, a bed like this uh, but let's see if they do oh no i don't think it does i don't think they uh, they work when you sleep in a bed i guess you'd have to uh, to stay up all night for the the alarm to to work anyway uh, let's go and carry on uh, building this so uh, i've got that in place there shall we try now and uh, get the the chicken in then uh, so i've got my lead here i'm going to go and try and spawn in the the chickens that's what all of the uh, the eggs were for uh, basically we can go and throw a, a whole bunch of them and uh, see if we're we're lucky enough uh, to to get a chicken so let me go now and and uh, try and grab uh, a whole bunch of these eggs. I'm going to just empty my pockets uh, a little bit more as well, just uh, to make some room. And uh, yeah, basically I'm going to throw them into the area, and uh, hopefully it's going to stay inside of the, the clock. Then if I'm very quickly, I can use the, the lead uh, to put it onto the, the fence. So let's see how lucky I get with these eggs, and to uh, see if I'm actually going to be able to, to get a chick. And I should be able to. We did get uh, quite a, a lot of eggs that we can just keep throwing here, and then hopefully we're going to get one pop out. I'm trying not to throw them too quick, because I don't want to, to spawn the, the chick chicken in and then immediately throw an egg in its face. I don't want its its first uh, moment of life in my lovely world to be uh, having a, an egg thrown at it. Oh no, come on, no, not any chickens. Come on, please. I want some chickens. Right. I still have a, I think I've got some more eggs in the, the chest as well. Uh, so hopefully we are going to, to get one. Nope, still none left. I think there were uh, some more eggs in here. We're being really unlucky here. There we go. There's another uh, 16 uh, eggs here. Uh, so let's go and try and throw these in. Come on, please give me a chicken. Give me a chicken. Give me a chicken. How unlucky are we being? A uh, Lee Bear. Uh, can you run over to the, the chicken farm and get me a, oh, a whole load of uh, chickens uh, just so we can uh, see if we can uh, yeah have any better luck a little bit later on. Uh, but yeah, I can go now uh, go and carry on uh, building the, the rest of the, the cuckoo clock. So uh, we're also going to add in some buttons and I think we're going to use uh, some wooden buttons here just so it fits in with the, the rest of the, the clock. And uh, basically, oh, I did that one in the, the wrong place. Uh, yeah, so basically when you press the, the button, the door is going to open very quickly and then shut. So it's going to go like cuckoo. Cuckoo, just like that. <laughs> and then the other thing we need to add in is, of course, the actual clock. So I could add it so the clock's up here, 
but then I think it's going to look a little bit weird. Uh, it's going to look kind of like it's floating uh, when the, the door opens. So I think instead, I'm just going to put the, the clock underneath down here. Then what I could do was actually put a, uh, a sign uh, on the, the top of the, the door like this, which kind of covers it a bit. Uh, so when it opens, uh, you really only see the uh, the chicken, uh, which is going to, to be on the, the inside uh, down there. So uh, I do have uh, one uh, clock left over, uh, so I can go and put that in here inside of the, the second hand clocks. So I guess we only have one second hand clock. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's pretty much done. So once Lee Bear uh, gets back with the uh, the eggs, uh, hopefully we're going to be able to, to get the, the chicken in. Hopefully uh, we're going to get a little bit uh, luckier than we were before. Tell you what, for now we can use Timothy the, the fish. We can throw Timothy in there and instead of a, a cuckoo clock, we can have a, a fishy fish clock. And where did... Whoa! Look at that! He just jumped out of there. That was crazy. <laughs> Timothy seems to be very lively today. Where, where's he gone? Where's Timothy gone? Oh, he's, he's jumped back inside of the, the clock again. That is one very lively fish. Let me go and get Timothy back. <laughs> right, looks like we've got a, a whole load of eggs. Right, do you want to help me, Lee Bear? And uh, just keep throwing uh, all of these eggs in. And then hopefully we're going to, to get one chicken. And uh, yeah, we'll get a, a little bit luckier. I don't know why we're not getting any chickens. Maybe I've just got too many uh, animals in my world at the moment. Uh, sometimes that stops more from spawning in. And oh, looks like we accidentally destroyed the, the clock as as well. <laughs> well, it looks like we're not getting lucky, uh, so we're not going to be able to, to spawn in the uh, the actual chicken now. Uh, but yeah, in the, the next episode, uh, we're going to get a, a whole load more eggs, and uh, we can have a, another go. So uh, what I'd do then, once the, the chicken's in, uh, was, would uh, to be to tie it up, and then put this block back, and so whenever you opened it, uh, you'd see a little chicken inside of there. And so there we go! Uh, this is the uh, uh, the bottom of the, the TikTok shop, uh, pretty much uh, completely finished. So in the next episode, we're going to be building a, a big tower, uh, really high into the, the sky, uh, the and that way uh, we have the uh, the place that we can build the actual big uh, clock tower on and trust me when i say this thing is going to be big I mean really, really big. Like, I mean like the height of the uh, the tumble tower. Pro probably even taller. Actually, it's going to be way taller than that. Yeah, this thing is going to be huge. So make sure uh, you stay tuned uh, to, to see that. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much. Wait a minute. I forgot to get Fluffy, didn't I? I've just realised I forgot to get Fluffy. Oh, have we got a chicken though? Did, did we finally get a chicken? Oh no, we have a we have a cuckoo bear. <laughs> a cuckoo bear clock. Let me press the button. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. <laughs> it's not quite the the, uh, the desired effect, but I guess it's working okay now. And I just realised I forgot to take Fluffy, but it's okay. Uh, I'll take her with me in the, the next episode. Uh, but yeah, we have just about run out of time here. As always, there'll be a link in the description to the next episode once it's online. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!